Welcome to Mark Reed 757. <laughs> it's been a little bit, a little bit longer than I wanted to, but hey, I'm back. All right. Um, this is week four, or yeah, this is week four. This is part four, week four of the YouTube Health Collaboration. Uh, before I get to this week's question, I kind of wanted to talk about cheater meal. Well, I had a tournament. I mean, I, I absolutely crushed it last week. Absolutely crushed it. Still didn't get to a video, but I crushed it. I did wonderful. I mean, I, I was eating right. I was exercising right. And I was feeling wonderful. Just absolutely terrific. And Sunday came around. I've even been getting my weekends right. But Sunday came around. I had a tournament. Well, they had burgers and hot dogs. And that was definitely one of my weak spots. I had it set in my head that I'm going to pack a lunch. And well, I didn't pack a lunch. Because they provided this lunch for us with the purchase of the tournament. And I figured, okay, well, I, I can handle a burger. They even made me a vegan burger. You know, um, it was like made of beans and stuff. And it was wonderful. It was good. I really didn't want the bread, but I was like, you know... I worked really hard I'm, I'm gonna have the bread so I put the burger on the bread and put a little bit of mustard a little bit of relish and ate it then I went back and had a regular burger then I went back and had a hot dog then I went back and ate another burger and ate another hot dog without the bun those two were without the bun but I, I had all this food and then it didn't stop there I even ate late at night I kind of binged a bit it was all on good food, but I still binge. And then the next day, I did the same thing. I, I, was, I ended up eating at a burger joint just because I was like, you know what? I, I never had this burger joint. Let me have it. And it really didn't taste that good, but I ate it anyway. And I had the burger and fries. And then I went to Wendy's and had another chicken sandwich and fries plus a drink. So that's two sandwiches plus two sets of fries and a drink and then I still had I went to the gas station and got some of the candy that I used to eat and some chips and I just had a, a horrible time there I mean after all the I got down to 315 last week before Sunday I was at 315 or no I'm sorry 313 I was at 313 and I pretty much been Sunday binged Monday and even did a tiny bit of binging on Tuesday but I was a little more self-conscious today I did not binge I did as good as I can I'm back on track and I got on the scale today and this evening and now it's back to 315 so all in all I gained two pounds with that horrible binging however during the peak of the binge I got to 324 which is 11 pounds more than what I was and that's crazy you know I I guess you I guess it's good to have like a little cheater meal or whatever to throw it out of whack but to me I gotta reevaluate my cheater meals I cannot have that type of cheater meal now I know I went way off base but this is just something that was bothering me and I can't believe that I got that high you know gained the 11 pounds and I'll tell you why after I answer this week's question this week's question is, what's your go-to healthy recipe? Well, that's a tricky one because I keep changing my mind. I like to switch things up all the time. I don't like having the same thing all the time. So I guess I don't actually have a go-to recipe. I have things that I incorporate into the meals. Like I like to have mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I love, you know, maybe a little bit of chicken or tofu or fish or steak. Uh, basically, I like to throw a meat, peppers, veg, uh, broccoli, onions, veggies, sometimes potatoes. I, I like to just throw in a mix and put some seasonings in it and make a bowl. Just have a bowl, bring it to lunch, I mean for work, for lunch, and that's pretty much what my go-to healthy recipes are. Now, back to the the mini binge weight gain whatever you want to call it i made a bet with my co-worker and i made this bet back in march or april maybe it was april 
beginning of April. No, it was March. I made this bet in March that I was going to get down to under 300. We originally bet 20 bucks that I could get under 300, that I would get 20 bucks if I got under 300. He bet that I couldn't get under 300 and he would get 20 bucks. We modified the bet later on because I was going on the downtrend. And at the time I was 343. So he's thinking, no way he's going to lose 43 pounds. Well, I was definitely killing it and getting closer and closer. And we modified the bet. And I go, well, I think I can get to 275. So how about this if I get between 300 and 275 no one owes anything if I get under 275 you owe me $40 if I stay above 300 I owe you $40 well I'm still above 300 in fact like I said I'm at 315 well the date that this was to come true is May 24th that's when I leave to Florida and I get to have fun down in Florida Sun <laughs> and I got to be under 300 by then if not I owe my co-worker $40 so I have 14 days to lose 15 pounds now I think I can do it what do you guys think anyway this has been Mark Reed 757 I'm signing out for today see you next time thank you <laughs>